Hello everyone, my name is Guy Corland and I'm the CTO of Incubation in Redis Labs. Today I wanted to present you Redis Search and perhaps answer all your questions about what is Redis Search, what can I do with it and where does it go. So why? Why do we need Redis Search? We all love Redis. Redis is a great data store. It's really easy to use it. it can, it's really easy to store a key and a value and then just get the value very easy. You can even go farther and even store in a hash and with a tuples of key and values and easily retrieve it. No problem. But what if you want to do run and run a more complex queries? Something like find me all the users that their name is Jeff. Or even go crazier than that and find me all the users that their names start with the word Jeff. Obviously, that's not an easy answer in Redis. But it's not that you cannot do that with Redis. There are patterns for that. But there is no solution, built-in solution, straight from the box. So what is an index? Like, how do we even start? So first, we need to discuss how to implement just a secondary index, something that we can use to retrieve this and answer this kind of queries. So first, we need an index. The index will take a document, a hash in Redis use case, break it apart into terms and properties, and then store them pointing back to the documents, meaning each one of the properties and terms will po point back to the, its own in document. And then searching can be much easier. So now all we need to do is to find all the words that we are searching in this table and then find all the documents that these words are pointing to. And that, that kind of structure is called inverted index because the, it's an index from the words to the documents. And I can easily answer simple queries. For example, find me all, all the documents that has the word butterfly. I can easily see in the table that document number one has it. And I can even run a more complex queries, find me all the document that has the word great and forget. And I can easily see the document number two has them both. So what is Redis Search? So Redis Search has a secondary index. So you can easily answer simple queries like, find me all the documents with the word Jeff, or find me all the documents that the age of the, of the user is 30. But it's also a full text engine. It has all what you want to expect from a full text engine, including prefix. So you can start and you can run queries like find me all the documents that start, that their name start with a J and not only the, not the full name. I can do even fuzzy if I want to do some, if I want to avoid um, unmatching documents that because of some uh, spell check or spelling or something like that. I can even do phonetic and stemming, so I, I don't need the exact word to be in the document, but a similar word. And I can do synonyms, so I can define by, on by my own. Maybe my vertical is different than a, than a simple text. Maybe two words are considered similar in my vertical, so you can extend ready search with your own synonyms. On top of that, Ready search is as an incremental index, obviously. So you can in live add more documents to the index <coughs> without losing performance. Meaning, while you are introducing new documents, they are going to be indexed into Ready search. The next step that Ready search added is an aggregation. Assuming you already have a secondary index, it's pretty easy <coughs> to retrieve all, <coughs> all the documents that are relevant to our query. But what if I want to manipulate the data and maybe aggregate the result before I'm returning to the client? So Ready Search is know how to do aggregation and I'll show it to you, show more about it in, in the next couple of slides. But many, many uses of search engines in, in many sites are very simple. All I need is a suggestion. I need some auto-completion. And Ready Search know how to do it in a very efficient way and very uh, low latency way. And last, using the, the uh, built-in mechanism of Redis, allow, that, which allows you to index data according to GEO information, Redis Search know how to use it also and allowing you to do more complex queries that are also involved in GEO information. For example, you can ask, give me all the users that their name is Jeff and visited a store in my radi one kilometer radius. But that's not enough. In, in order to use this Redis search, you want to make sure that you have the right client. So Redis search has a very vibrant uh, uh, community 
Many clients were developed by community and others are maintained by Redis Lab. So we pretty much covered with clients with almost all the main languages. So you can easily start with your favorite language. So let's go back to the features. So the, the, the most used feature in most of the website, I guess, is the auto-completion. Usually when you have a, a search book, you have an auto-completion. It's an expected feature. People expect to type their query and the, and the box and the drop-down box will follow and show in all the options or the, all the relevant options for their search. So that can be easily done with Redis. So let's take, for example, JavaScript, a very, um, a very common language when building websites with Node.js. So building a, an auto-suggestion or auto-complete with Redis search is pretty easy. All you have to do is to run ft-suggest on, on point to the relevant index and point and add the, the text that the user already typed. And immediately you are getting all the relevant completions for your search. Next, let's discuss aggregation. Aggregation is, is a less intuitive uh, part of search engine, meaning usually when you do search engine, you want to get the results. But you, wanna, you might want to do something more than that. You want to be more efficient than that. You want to take the, the results, group them together, maybe according to a name or, or some user's uh, age group or whatever, reduce the result according to um, maybe the average salary of these users or maybe um, wherever they are located. And then you can apply some manipulation on the data. Maybe you just wanna, um, want their last name and maybe you only want the, the first letter or you wanna do um, <coughs> some mathematic operation. And then you can sort the result and again, apply some manipulation on the data. That's the aggregation pipeline. All of that will run in Redis, in Redis search, and, not, and, and let you reduce the amount of data that you return from Redis and make it much more efficient. So obviously, you can do much more than that. After aggregate, the command that allows you to do aggregation is much broader than that. You can do much more than that, and the syntax can go as wild as you want, and you can even do um, more steps in the pipeline. So let's look at the example. Here's an example. You can run FT aggregate, apply some data manipulation on the timestamp, and then group it by country, reduce it to number of visits, and maybe sort it. That very strong and might be, look too complex for you. So you don't have to really write this kind of query. As I, as I presented before, Ready Search has many clients in many different languages and they can really ease your, your implementation. So for example, let's look how we do it in, Redis, in, in Java. This is the other way to do it in Java. All you have to do is to create an aggregation builder with a query, with, with the index. Then what do you want to apply? How do you want to group it? How do you want to filter it? Like a post filter after you group it, and then you can sort it. So as you can see, it's native to Java and it's pretty easy to do in Java. By the way, this is how you do a simple query which does not require any aggregation. In this case, I only want to find all the, the, all the, um, all the document that the price is between zero and 1000. And I only want to limit for the first result, five results. But Redis Search can do much more than that. As you probably know by now, we have Redis Enterprise is a, Redis Enterprise can manage a cluster of Redises and you can use Redis Search and its coordinator to aggregate the data across the whole cluster. This way you can run a single query. I don't care about how many shards there are there. Just aggregate the results and return the results to the user. The coordinator or Redis Search will do all of that behind the scene for you. And in a scalable way, meaning all the shards can act as a coordinator and all the shards can collect the data from all the different shards and return to the user. Ready Search has another nice advantage, um, and that's an implementation advantage. It's a pauseless search engine. 
If you already played in the past with other search engines, you might notice that there are hiccups from time to time. And most of them are related to the way and the technology that the, the, these search engines are based on. For example, they are based on Java, so you might see some garbage collection hiccups. Ready Search, since it's run in Redis, is written in C and does not have such hiccups. It's an in-memory, so are not suffering any, any time or latency from disk time loading or, um, or network if it's, if it's uh, a touch uh, disk or remote disk. And last, it has a very unique implementation of garb internal garbage collection who know how to clean up deleted documents. It's based on Linux fork, process fork, and it does not create any pause for your application. The all, the, all implement, the all garbage collection is done in a fork process, and then only after all the, col all the deleted documents are found, they are deleted from the original process. This way, the original process can continue serving documents to, according to your queries. And that's obviously mean performance. Ready Search is the fastest search engine in town. You can see it in, in many, in, in many uh, benchmarks that we published in the past, or you can easily run it. Um, but these are some of the numbers. You can see that Ready Search has much lower latency and much higher throughput in many of the text queries, uh, full text query, and even in, in simple queries that are only secondary index. But there is another use case, another interesting use case that Ready Search know how to do pretty, pretty good and different than, than the rest of the market or rest of the search engine that you might encounter. And that is the multi-tenant search, meaning there might be a use case and there are many uses where you might want to create many, many small indexes that are, are this, this dedicated to different user, completely disconnected, and you want them to be lightweight. You don't want that each one of the index that you are adding will, co will impose an overhead on the server. You want to be able to split the data between simple, small indexes without any extra overhead on the, on the whole server. And in many cases, these small indexes are temporary. You might want to expire them or auto-delete them in, after some time. And last, you want to be able to create and delete these indexes very, very quickly. You don't want to waste time when you create a new index. It, you want to be able to provide the still near real-time experience to your user. So you can easily create a new index and easily delete it and quickly. So let's look at an example. When do you need it or where do you need it? So here's an example of one of our customers that is a big manufacturer that has its own businesses that buy from him or his own buyers. So it's a B2B e-commerce. It is a big website with a big to b e-commerce that different stores can come and buy product to their store. Obviously, it's a different experience that you might, this website is a different experience that you might get from a simple e-commerce for, for consumers. <clears throat> the carts might be huge. The user might in, uh, order 500 or up to 1,000 or even more prob probably in some of the use case items. It needs to be able to search in this cart because the cart is so big, so he, he cannot just scan it with the, its, his eyes. He really need some search and then to search in this a, a cart. It's it's online cart. For that, you need you might want to create an index, a very quick index, on, on top of the cart and delete it when the cart was submitted or the purchase was finished. In in our case, the uh, the manufacturer is so big that it has so many clients that it might have in a single day up to five thousand different fifty thousand sorry different customers buying on the site. It means that he has to somehow host 50,000 different indexes. And all of them together comes to this big number. So, so it needs to be able to index up to 50 million do documents a day. Each one of them represent a different row in a different card and store them in 50,000 50, different cards. So with Ready Search and its temporary index, you can easily do it. You can easily add more indexes. 
you can easily drop them once the purchase was over or maybe the card was abandoned so it can ex automatically expire after some time but with other en uh, engines that they that used in the past they never managed to cross this number whenever and, and we managed to when we try to do it also on our lab and we never managed to cross this number so we never managed to get to this, even get to this number so whenever we started to create many many small indexes in, in another search engine it just crashed after about 900 indexes while ready search managed to manage tens of thousands of small indexes but what is next where are we taking ready search ready search is around for more than two years and its, and its community is growing and its usage are growing but we think we can do much better than that we can uh, create ready search 2 and ready search 2 will always we, we plan to improve the user experience so how how do you do how do people use ready search 1.0 today they have to use this special api called ftad and then add their hash behind the scene ready search is taking the hash indexing it and storing it in Redis as a, as a standard hash. Meaning the, the experience is you have to use Redis search special API when you had a document that you want to index. We think we can do better, much better. And the experience in Redis search 2.0 will be much more native to Redis, search, to Redis users. So all you have to do is to do edge set, like the, the standard edge set in Redis, write the document to, the, to Redis, and then behind the scene, Reddit search will not, not be notified about this document and automatically index it. This way, the, the, your application does not need to be aware of Reddit search. Reddit search will be, really become a secondary index on top of Redis. This way, existing application and existing databases or, or existing data stores with, Red, full, with Redis data can easily add Reddit search on top of them and start running queries that are using this secondary index without the need to change the, the, the API that the application is using. It also, in, in our first benchmarks, it's also, we can also easily see that it nicely improved the latency performance of the application because now you are not using this spatial API that Redis, uh, and, and Redis need to send to the right child Ready search to send to the right child because you, you're still using edge set. When you're using edge set, the, the simple Redis clustering mechanism will work. And then behind the scene, Ready search will index the data synchronously, by the way. So it's not like you write the, the data and then if you run a query immediately, you won't find the data. Like in other search engines, it's still going to be synchronous, but much faster. So on average, you can see you can get almost to half millisecond latency. But it's going to give us more advantage. I don't know if, you, if you're familiar or not, but Redis Enterprise is a special feature uh, that is very unique to Redis Enterprise called CRDT. It allows you to do active-active replication between different sites. We wanted to achieve that with Redis Search 2. We want to make sure that whatever you are getting with Redis or Redis Enterprise, Redis Search users can also do. By inverting the order of the APIs, meaning that you are working with Redis and Redis Search is working behind the sign, uh, scene, we are re-enabling this capability. So now you can do something on like that. A user will send an edge set that will store and hash to Redis. Redis Search will automatically index the data. The CRDT will make sure that the data will replicate across the replicas, across the, the sites, maybe to a far site asynchronously and automatically will resolve any conflicts that might reside from a different site because it's still an active active situation and once the the the, the conflict was resolved on the other side ready search will automatically index the data on the other side meaning you automatically have the data indexed on both sides and both sides can be active and retrieve the data in an efficient way using ready search Thank you. That was all. That, um, if you have any more questions, go on ready site, readysearch.io and you can easily read more about it.